hello guys this is chef Dean academy welcome to our video on youtube in this video we are going to be discussing a software that you can use to analyze your beam so this software is a open source software free to use and it's used offline you can use it to run your beam analysis so this software is beam max that's the name of the software and with the software you can use it to uh, determine or to draw your bending moment diagram your shear force diagram and your displacement diagram the software also allows you to use the fixed support pin support and the roller support on your beam so we are going to go we are going to be explaining the user interface of the software how to use it then we are going to take a couple of the example to demonstrate the software to you i hope you get it this is the beam max software so i'm going to leave a link in the description where you are going to download the software the software is a copy and play software that is once you download it just paste it on your laptop and you can use it directly there's no need for any installation on anything so the software as an extension that is whenever you have a document to open on the software the document must be dot bcb that's the extension of the software so the menu on the software is just three you have the file the view and the app tab so the view is just for you to show the two bars you can uncheck the two bars by just checking this then if you want to bring back the two bar just click this so you can create a new file or you can open an existing one so let me start by opening an existing one you can come to file then click on open then it takes you to a file where you can save where you've saved the existing ones then you can click on any existing one and open it like this then you can edit if you want to edit or just uh close so to create a new document that is to analyze or design a beam using the software click on fire and click on new or you can click on this uh first icon with the with a white sheet it's also a way of creating a new beam analysis on the software so on this software you can only load point load and uniformly li linear distributed load that is udl in 2d form then once i click on new let's create a simple let me just show you how you can simply use the software the, you click on new then you specify the length of the beam that means the total length of the beam so let's say the beam we want to the analyze is five meters so just put five meters and you should know that the length is in meters you click ok so you click ok then you come to uh then the next tab here is for you can opening using the file or you open using air uh, then the next one after that one is save then here you are, you can determine the properties of the section you want to use if it is six section concrete just put the modulus of elasticity pull the moment of inertia and the axial area then as i've said earlier we have three support that was uh that you can use with the software the first one is the fixed support so fixed support you can either put it on the left end of the beam or on the right end of the beam so if i click ok now it's going to be on the left end I can click on it again and put it at the right end so this is a simple fixed beam then you can also add a pin support or an inch support for inch support you just have to specify the position the position for this software is from left to right just like what we have in our normal standard writing left to right so let's say i want to put the beam at the midpoint the pin support at the midpoint of this fixed beam the length of the beam is 5 meters then the midpoint is going to be 2.5 just put, put 2.5 and click ok then the next support here is the roller support the roller support is just like the pin support you can you just have to specify the position where you want to put it so i want to put it at 3 meters from the left end i put 3 meters just like that then you now come to the loading part i said earlier you can do a point load concentrated load or uniformly distributed load so just click on point load you specify the position of the of the point load along the beam from the left end so let's say i want to put it at one meter from the right end that is four meters from the left end because the length of my beam is five meters 
then put a value let's say the value of our point load is 15 kN. then you click ok so you put the point load immediately then as you load the beam you can see that the software automatically generates the moment the moment is signified as m okay and you can see the unit is in kN meters so after that let's say you made a mistake you want to delete something for example i want to delete this roller support that i had it just click on it click on the support then you see a, a highlighted dash box then you can click on this cross or erase button to delete it then it delete off from the stuff so then the next thing is uh this the next icon after the cross is showing you the beam diagram that is the free body diagram of the beam if you don't want to see the feed body diagram of the beam just uncheck it and the free body diagram of the beam will go off i check it again to bring it on the next item there is q q stands for the shear force diagram once you click on it the software will display the shear force diagram which is fx representing it and the unit is in kN. then after that is the moment diagram the moment diagram is below the shear force diagram m and units in kN. next to that is the displacement the displacement is represented as uz the unit is in millimeters the next after that is the uh the next after that is the values that is to show the values of the, the on the diagram so if i click it then you cannot show the values that we imposed that is generally the, the software and with this you can generate share for diagram bending moment diagram and displacement diagram within a few seconds so let's now take some example to demonstrate how to use the software so before we go on with the example if this is your first time on this channel or you've been coming to my channel and will not be subscribing you must subscribe today <laughs> so hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification i'm sure you love my content so i'm sure you've done that thank you so now uh let's take a, this example we have a beam the beam is supported at the end and the total length of the beam is um five meters yeah so and we have two concentrated load acting on it we also have a udl load acting on it so let's use this beam as an example and we are going to be determining the shear force diagram the bending moment diagram and the displacement so i click on new beam then put the length five meters the next thing is for me to put the support i put the support at the end of the beam so let me put a pin at the zero position and a ruler at the five meter position because this is a simply supported beam so the first thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be inputting the point loads you can do any either of the load the way you want you can put the dead load and the udl load first before the point load you can put the point load before you do udl so let me do the point load first so the first one is 2 kN and it has a distance of 1.5 from the left end so i'm going to put in 1.5 as the position the value is 2 then you click ok then the next one is uh 5 kN at the midpoint which is 1.5 plus 1.5 that's 2.5 position 2.5 meters and the value of that one is 5 kN then the udl is the next one then you should note that uh the value of the of the loadings might not be to scale so so click on the udl the udl is spanning through the beam so that means it's starting from position zero the length is the length of the beam you can use the tab button to shift from one column to another or you can just use your mouse to just click wherever you want to edit so the position is from position zero the length is five meters then the value is 1.5 kilonewton per meter you have that then once that is done i can click on the shear force to displace the shear force diagram i can click on the w to displace the displacement then i need the value just click on this then uh you have the values and i can stretch this to fit in into the window 
so you can see that the maximum bending moment is at the midpoint because this is a simply supported beam and the value is 12.44 you can see the shear force at the, at the, at the support 7.65 at this end and 6.85 and that end and you can actually understand that so but before we continue let us do a simple check of what of this software result let's delete the point load and just look at what we have for the uh for the UDH. you can just click and press the delete button on your keyboard or use the erase button on the uh toolbar so we know that for a simply supported beam loaded in a udl load the moment equation is ws over it so let's compare let's confirm this moment formula so let me just use my calculator in this case w is 1.5 l here is 5 5 square over 8 divided by 8 so we have 4.6875 and you can see the value that we have here is 4.69 that is approximately what we computed so the software is very accurate let's move to another example so this is another example the same thing we have a udl and we have a point load i'm sure you can do this so let's not waste our time and look for another example so this is another example this is a fixed beam it has a fixed end and also have a roller support at point b and c so i'm just going to click on new let's say i want to save this now all i just have to do is click ctrl s click on the beam then click ctrl s then you can save it so let me just say simply supported beam then click save so let's work on a fixed beam so i click on this the total length of the beam from the diagram in the left hand side is 3 plus 3 plus 3 that's 9 meters then i have a fixed end at the left and the right end click on this and click on the left end click on it again and click on the right end and click ok so let me just close this one so that we don't get confused let me extend the uh the diagram window to cover the window of the software the next thing for me is to input the roller at point c and point d so the roller at point b is three meters from the left so i put three meters the roller at point c is also six meters from the left so i put six meters then to put the load the first load is five kilonewton per meter and it covers six meters and it's starting from left end click on udl the position is position zero the length is six meters and the value is five kilonewton meters click ok they also have a point load that is acting at the midpoint between c and d click on it the position is going to be from the left end that is six meters plus 1.5 that will be 7.5 at the position and then the uh the value is 20 kilonewton exactly click ok click on the queue for the share force and click on this for the diagram and also click on w for the displacement so from here you can see the bending moment diagram as it goes and also see the shear force then you can also see the displacement so these are the uh, two examples i want to show you in this video but let me show you another one to show you that this software is really capable of uh analyzing any kind of beam either continuous statically determinate or statically indeterminate you can see this structure that we showed you now is a statically indeterminate structure so let's let's cite an example of an overhanging beam with a fixed end so i click on new i make the length of the beam 10 meters and i put my fixed end on the left end i put my roller support this is a prop cantilever but i put it at eight kilometers eight meters away from the left end then a udl of uh 30 kilonewton that covers half of the half of the beam and the value is 50 kilonewton sorry the po the udl is starting from position zero sorry then the second udl is starting from half of the beam the value is not 30 50 in this case the value is 25 
and no sorry the length is 5 meters the value is 25 as well so you can see you can put different loads in different position so then let's say i also have a point load at position at position four meters from the left end and the value is 35 kN. then you can click on share force diagram bend the moment diagram the displacement and click on the value to look at the value so from here you can see a lot of displacement on this beam the length is 10 meters and it's carrying that huge load the moment is 201.15 that's the maximum ready moment for the span for the support the maximum ready moment was 375 because this beam was actually uh, a fixed beam then you can see the displacement and you can see the shear force diagram so this is all for today i hope you have subscribed to this channel see you in our next video thank you